Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived here at the Grays Harbor Raceway. I'm not even kidding. It's 15 minutes till the pit meeting and it's lightly misting here in Elma, Washington, which is not uncommon for this place, not too far from the Pacific Ocean. But Grays Harbor, beautiful 3 8 mile clay oval. One of the largest tracks we have here in the Pacific Northwest, and when it's right, it can be a really good racing surface, and I feel like it's a place that we've actually probably struggled a little bit at, so tonight we're hoping for a, a good run and just to make the 18T really, really fast. You can see all the rain on the lens. It's actually kind of starting to come down. It's been raining off and on all morning, and we're hoping it stops so we can get the races in. But yeah, this is uh, this is not the most ideal situation. It's also been very windy uh, all afternoon, but we're gonna get the night started. KWS, gonna be a strong field of cars. Final night of fastest four days in motorsports. Kind of had an up and down run. We've struggled a little bit just to find some speed at the end of the night and kind of finish the job. But we did have one podium at the beginning, so it hasn't been all struggles. We've had you know some success and you know definitely been fast at certain points. So we just want to put together a whole night and get after it and try to get out of, uh, well, hopefully, hopefully everything goes to plan. This is not the greatest start to today's show. We just completed qualifying here at Grace Harbor Raceway. Ended up with uh, 22 four tens, and we were the ninth car out, which definitely was, you know, helped us more tonight than it hurt us, you know, being in the front half. Both corners are already starting to get pretty slick. One and two has a grip lane on the bottom that you can kind of lean on and make more speed. Where three and four, it was really slick on the bottom, and then it kind of just works its way up to a, a really heavy grip lane on the very top. That's like really not even all the way worked in yet. So both my laps were pretty similar. I got through one and two really well. My car felt great down there. I hit the bottom. I got good drive off, carried good corner speed. But where I lost time was probably in three and four just on entry. Like I was trying to open it up and then really shoot down. And I almost was trying to turn too much and too quickly that I slammed the left rear and I got sideways and just, you know, killed my speed um, to the exit of the corner to get down the front stretch. And I did that both laps. So I think that we ended up fifth quick, which that shows that we actually still were pretty fast because I felt like that was a, a large mistake that would have hindered us more than it did and you know I think if I cleaned that up then we are much closer to the top of the boards and you know had a chance at quick time so cars got speed got to work on some things on my end you got to be so smooth at these bigger tracks because every little move changes what the car does and upsets it or helps it so we are now going to be heading into a heat race starting on the front row and we must win it to advance into tonight's dash
Well, we just won our heat race from the front row, did exactly what we needed to do. I was, you know, nervous to start on the inside because there wasn't really much grip and the top had a little bit down the straightaway and that gives the outside row just enough to where they can either beat us into turn one or slide us like the outside car tried to do. Luckily, I got a good jump, kind of half slid myself, caught the grip and then just hit my marks for eight laps. I felt like that was the best my car has been. Uh, maybe since Southern Oregon Speedway, we've kind of been trying to find our balance and, you know, get it to where it's easy for me to drive and that felt easy for me to drive like found a great spot with the throttle for wheel spin to just keep moving forward keep the car happy and was able to do that so it's like you almost wish a situation like that we need it to happen in a feature to win one of these races so keep working on it we made the dash that will be next getting buckled in for the dash Glad we made it. Unfortunately though, with how they did their draw and uh, the invert, we're starting fifth. So trying some things on the car just to be a little bit better, a little bit tighter, a little bit more grip. Racetrack is super, super slick right now. Just so you guys know, this is the wrong way to bring a sprint car back on the tow truck after it's crashed. Luckily, we had enough guys here in our pit area and with all the crews to kind of grab the tail and then set the nose down slowly and get it on the ground. And after that, we have a perfect example of how close the racing community is and how we truly are one big family. You can see in the footage, we had multiple drivers and crew members from other teams pitch in to help get the 18T fixed up. We had to replace a front axle. We had to replace a top wing. We had to replace a couple of radius rods, a Jacob's ladder. The nose wing got crushed, and then we also had to replace some other miscellaneous parts. At the same time, check out the engine, make sure there was the right amount of oil in there because how it was towed back to the pits and how it was hanging in the fence. And this wasn't just a little bit of help. As I said, it was all hands on deck from the moment our car got back into the pit area till the time it was completed, sitting on the ground with a new top wing, new nose wing, all the body parts on it and ready to be fired to make sure that we had no issues. We just had a crazy turn of events. We'll have to talk maybe a little bit more about that later, but the good news is the car is sitting here and it's back in one piece after a lot of work and a lot of help from a lot of people, so I'm thankful for that. But um, we're rolling off six. Race car seems to be back close to 100%. It's not perfect, but it's close. So we're gonna go out there and give it our best shot. As long as everything feels good, I'm gonna run. And uh, you know, like I said, we'll be rolling off from six. So we're just getting ready to head out for the A. Very lucky that we get to do this after that incident. Just gonna go out there, like I said, make sure everything feels right first. I think it will. 
and then uh, try to you know try to run the best race that we can and try to stay in contention for a solid top five and you never know what can happen as far as moving forward and I think our race car is good we've been fast tonight we got great speed so happy with that on the 18 car of Tanner Holmes. He is staying down low. He's battling for fourth right now. The low side is working for him. Dominic, same thing, kind of hanging down low all night. Trey following in the footsteps today. This might be what he needed right here, Ben. 
dive bomb down low. Claymaker from Corey Day on the binders of Selzy. Selzy with the crossover move as they go into turn number three and four. Selzy still on the bottom. Selzy, Claymaker on Day. Day crosses them up as they come to the line. Nine laps to go. Corey Day, your new race leader. Oh, that's what the race fans came to see. We love it. And they do it so precise out there. But meanwhile, look what happened. Trey Starks now. He's in the picture. It is going to be the 14 of Corey Day to P1. Here comes Trey Starks looking to pounce around Dominic Selzy. Selzy back to third now. And now the 18 T of Tanner Holmes comes calling. As Corey Day starting to pull away from the rest of the field. Sel Selzy and Starks, great race here, Phil. Yes, it is. But Dominic's not giving up yet. He's going battling with his buddy, Trey Starks. And all, well, they're doing that. Look who's all of a sudden in third. It's Tanner Holmes. Tanner Holmes in the Sunny Valley Bacon Trophy Dash. Got in the wall, wasn't able to finish it. Six teams came and repaired the 18 team machine to make sure it was going to be in competition. And it is already a plus three right now. Five laps to go, 25 to the good. May see a battle for second wage here between the 55 of Trey Starks and the 18 T of Tanner Holmes. Austin Wheatley is the last car in line and may go a lap down here soon as Yellow is out for Dominic Selzy. As we'll try and get a full finish for you here in just a minute, Corey Day will be your winner. Trey Stark scored second and third, Tanner Holmes. Did they groove their tire? Yeah, I should have. We should have groomed ours. Well, it's a new one. We didn't think to. Well, we we ran third. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, I know you fell back. We went six to nine to six to third. Yeah, there's a couple times on the top coming out for us. And then you go on the front stretch. I should have got down low sooner with my wing. So we can now say fastest four days in motorsports is officially complete. If you guys know me well, you know that I absolutely hate second and third place trophies. But I can't lie, this one's kind of cool and it feels a little bit different. I think that's probably because the, the night that I had that we didn't even really get a chance to chat about yet. Went out for the dash there, made a mistake coming to the white flag. Our car was a little bit tight and I got balled up in the curb behind another car, got over it, ended up flipped in the fence, hung in the fence. That sucked, uh, and then we had to make quite a bit of repairs, but thank you to literally everybody that jumped in. It felt like there was someone from every crew in the pit area that lent a hand into getting my car back to where it needed to be. So that was super eventful. Then we had little time to kind of work on our setup. Even though I felt like our car was really good, we just wanted to make sure we were dialed in and then also get out there and as I spoke on, you know, make sure that my car was back together properly and could run 30 laps. Kind of struggled at the beginning of the race. I, I felt like I just kind of took me a minute to get ready to attack and, and find my footing and where my car was good I was a little free at some times and then I was getting balled up at others and I just didn't find where my car felt good and then all of a sudden as I fell back gave me a chance to try something I pulled my wing in the trunk and oh we just lost power Dad shut off the lights, we're about to hit the road, but pulled my wing back and then was able to really work the bottom, drive in hard, it would stick and work my way into fifth, then work my way into fourth. And then they started battling for the lead in front of me and I got to third past Selzy. And then at one point right there at the end, I thought I was maybe gonna get my Trey Starks for second. And then the red came out because we were all about to run out of fuel. Our tire usage was unbelievable. Like my right rear was gone. And then at that red, they said the next flag will end the race. We went back green did one lap and the race was over because there was a caution and that caused some controversy to end the race like that but you know I don't know I feel like it's a tough call for me I wasn't super disappointed because I was just worried about being able to finish it would have really sucked to get a flat and then you know my A is completely done but at the end of the day it is what it is the cards fell how they fell so glad we uh, ended on the podium and I think tonight just shows our team and our never give up attitude we power through no matter what 
you know, we, we've had some rough nights. We've had some good nights. Fastest four days in motorsports had highs and lows, but overall, you know, I think we showed some of the best speed that we've had in our 410, and I'm really proud of that. And also to mention, Grays Harbor Raceway is not necessarily one of my best tracks. I feel like this is a place we've kind of struggled in the past. So to run this good with KWS, with the, you know, the field of cars, that is uh, definitely says something about, you know, the direction we're heading. So the night is over. Big thank you to all my partners, Shane DeWald Trucking, Lafarge, Next Gen Carson, ABC Powder Coating, Pit Stop USA, RTR Diesel Performance, Fast 4 Media, Earth Environmental. We also have Canopy Country, Land and Transport, Full Send Racing, Veen and Doll Trucking, and D-Ray Designs. And then my mom and dad, my family, and my crew, and all you guys. It's uh, It's been a fun journey. Glad we ended on a good note. And our job is not done yet because Dirt Cup is coming up. Four nights at Skagit and $62,000 on the line. See you guys there. Deuces.